One more thing with the atlas and tying it into your third corollary there. If I remember correctly, one of the more playful radical thoughts in terms of collections from atlas was it's way more than books and online materials. At one point, I think you were talking about how the people in a community could actually be part of the collection if used properly. Can you explore that a little bit for people that haven't seen it? Again, tie it back to your corollaries. Sure. So the idea is that that the true collection of a library as an institution or a place is the community that's being served, right? That we build, if we build and acquire materials, whether those are books or databases or maker spaces or whatever, it's in response to the needs and aspirations, particularly the aspirations of a community. So it's shaped around that community. And so um, that's really the idea that, that putting people at the center here, um, they're the collection. And the books, they're tools. They're tools to help those community members get smarter, to help members find meaning. And even more recently, which it came really clear to me in, in, in some talking about the Atlas and this work, right? That was 2011. It's been a while. Um, and even most of my career was discussing things like libraries are good for democracy somehow. Libraries are really good for communities somehow. And that we're really nice places somehow, right? It, and, and the somehow needed to be filled in in your specific setting. And then recently, I run across a lot of research around this notion of deaths of despair, which is a depressing topic, but, but really important. And that was a realization from some economists that um, people, you know, the, that life expectancy has been raise, rising for over a century, but suddenly is stopping and in fact going down. And when you look at the causes of death that's bringing down life expectancy, First of all, you find it in an odd place. You find increasing mortality among middle-aged folks. Um, you find um, in, across colors, across genders, et cetera, you're finding this. And older you know, folks from things like suicide, because that's not when those suicide's supposed to happen, and drug-related overdoses and alcohol-related diseases, and the sense of really social isolation and disconnection. And in fact, there was a study done by the uh, Surgeon General who talks about the that loneliness, social isolation, is the equivalent of smoking 15 cigarettes a day. This comes back to that notion of the librarian serving the community. It comes back to that notion of knowledge creation, it comes back to all of these things to say what a good library does is save lives. It brings people in, it helps them find meaning, and it helps them connect to the environment they're in. And therefore, it needs to look like the environment they're in. It needs to have understand the values and principles and not just be based on one rubber stamped blueprint that all libraries should belong to. And that what guides the design isn't the books and materials or the values of the librarian, but the aspirations and needs of communities. And so to me, it really became, and, and had I discovered this probably would have ended up in that corollary document, the goal here with all of this is to help people have healthy, happy lives and help communities gel in times of great isolation, great separation, great ideological divide. Libraries' job is to pull people together, not because it's nice, but because it's literally life-saving. <music>